All right, uh, problem number three, uh, we're uh, going to be finding uh, the uh, relative extrema and the inflection points. And uh, we're going to be given the intervals in which the graph is increasing and decreasing. And we're going to list the intervals of which uh, we have a concavity. And uh, so there's uh, several steps here in this problem. But that's OK, because we can, we can do it. <laughs> so first thing I'm going to do is find the uh, first derivative. And that's 9x squared minus... 36, we're going to take the second derivative, I mean the first derivative. Well, we are going to be taking the second derivative, but not just yet. Setting this thing, uh, take first derivative, set it equal to 0, and solve for x. So we have uh, 36, and then divide by 9. All right. And uh, that's going to uh, reduce down to... 4, and so we end up having x squared is equal to 4, and to uh, solve for this x, we're going to screw both sides, and if we do that, square root of 4 is just 2, but uh, we must write plus or minus 2. Okay, well those are the critical numbers uh, for the first derivative. And uh, we're going to draw a number line here, plot negative 2, positive 2, get our test points, negative 3, 0, and uh, about positive 3. Then we're going to take, uh, take negative 3 and uh, plug it into the derivative. And uh, we end up getting negative 3 squared is 9, and 9 is 81. So that's obviously going to be a positive. So this graph is increasing to negative 2. Plugging 0 into the derivative, and we get a negative number out. So this is decreasing. Plug 3 in and uh, into this. We're going to also get a positive number out. And... Uh, That'll be increasing. Then we want to take negative 2 and plug it back into the original. And uh, I'm not going to really work this whole thing out here. But uh, I'm going to plug neg I'm going to put negative 2 here. And then you evaluate f of negative 2. Right? That's just uh, plugging it back into the uh, original function. Right? And this is going to be a maximum as we can see here. And then uh, we have a minimum at 2f of 2. Right, and uh, I'll let you figure it out. Okay, and then what we want to do is uh, take the second derivative So yeah. this was the first derivative, and the second derivative bringing the 2 out front. So f double prime of x is equal to 18x. And then setting this, the second derivative, equal to 0, we can see that the solutions to this equation is just x is equal to 0. And so we go through the exact same procedures. And uh, we plot 0 in the number line. Then we uh, choose some test points, like negative 1 and 1. We take negative 1, plug it into the second derivative. And that's going to be a negative number, so just be negative 18, which is negative. And this time, I'm going to uh, draw a line. It looks like this. And what this tells me is that the graph is concave down, concave down. And then you take 1, plug it into the second derivative, and you get 18. And that's positive. And I'm going to indicate that with the line curve that's doing this, because it look as concave up from 0 to infinity. And that actual point we call the inflection point. Zero, we take 0, plug it into um, the original function, and uh, 
remembering what that was way up here. So we plug 0 in to the original function. You get 3 times 0 cubed is 0, minus 36 times 0 is 0, and you get negative 9. So there's an inflection point at 0, negative 9, and I'll just indicate that with I, P for inflection point. Now, to uh, list where this function is increasing and decreasing, um, come up here so it's increasing from uh, negative infinity up to negative 2, from negative infinity to negative 2. In fact, I think I'll just squeeze that in. Uh, can I squeeze that in somewhere, maybe right here? I don't know. Maybe I'll try that. INC increasing from negative infinity to negative 2, and it's also increasing from 2 to infinity, and it's decreasing from negative or from negative 2, yes, to 2. All right. And this function is uh, concave down. I'll indicate just CD for concave down from negative infinity to 0, and it's concave up from 0 to infinity. And that concludes this problem.